В предишния епизод на Камифуда успях да постигна някакво временно премирие с Зенфрея. Споделих и, че знам за миналото й, както и че не я съдя за нейната обърканост. Еви влезе в ролята на мой учител в тайнството на първичната магия. След като успях да я победя в дуел, отново се сблъсках с подозрителния професор Ихарам, който най-безцеремонно ме подложи на разпит в коридорите на училището. И всичко това, защото съм прекалено добър на Ками Фуда. Добре, както казах, ще избера да говоря с три. Стру ми се най... Интересна последователност. The passage is dark, pitch black, in fact, without my firefly guides. I made a point to leave them in my dorm for this outing. With Ikharam acting so suspicious of me, I found myself suspect in turns. In turn. Uh, since I arrived here in Glomrod, his little guides have led me around the university. And to him on occasion. Who is to say he can track their location or worse? See and hear my every move when they are um, in my possession. So I shimmy my way through the narrow passage hidden past the faculty offices. Into that strange chamber, once a powerful seal which protects the campus's so called forbidden wing. The stone here is cracked and shodden. I'm sure I'll have more than a casual scrape to show for it when this is done. But with Evi still translating the tome from Trent's room, I find myself ans- antsy. This thing, uh, this wing, uh, which I'm told was sealed for centuries, opened only days before Trent is dead. And I'm finding it harder and harder to believe in coincidences. The small chambers look much the same as Evi and I had left it. Albeit the crystalline shards around uh, the now closed door have been cleaned. Another similarity, however would be three still standing before the doors, not far from where um, Wild left her weeks ago now. She turns to greet me in one smooth motion. And here I failed to bring any catnip. Ah, and here I failed to bring any catnip. These curious cat jokes are starting to get out of hand. Yet you keep inciting them. Point to you. Despite her usual demeanor, I cannot help but sense a, an air of anxiety in the air. What brings you to the Forbidden Wing Tarot? Try to dodge her question. Technically, we are not in the Forbidden Wing. If I am understanding its boundaries correctly. Technically, you would be correct. Though, I am sure any astute individual, Professor Ikharam included, could deduce there is no reason to come to the broken sea otherwise. One might also deduce you are evading my question. Evading? I didn't realize we were in spy movie, and what's worse, I was so awful, uh, awful at fibbling, fibbing. Um, so said he, tongue gleaming of silver. In any case, um, what are you doing here? Of course, I have inquired, and so must do. Uh, so you must do the same. That's one way to break down a conversation. I am, as a matter of fact, conducting a, an experiment. Another one? She nods. Three holds up a small silver medal- medallion 
spinning slowly within a black frame. What's that exactly? It is a small piece of metal held within a chain tight frame. Ha huh? ha. Huh. I can be sure, but I swear there's a briefest flicker of a smile from her. Whatever the case, she bows her head briefly as to say, Very well, I'll answer your question, uh, you stray cat you. I have been working on this device for some time and have finally managed to finish a working prototype. I call it an echo catch. An echo catch? Have you ever purchased for yourself a dream a, a, a dream catcher? Um Ah uh, sure. My mom was all about dream catchers. Um say they were a godsend for a good night's rest. Dad and I um always kind of assumed it was sort of a placebo effect. But she oh she was always into those sort of things. That's one of the reasons I was named Tarot, actually. I had wondered if your name referred to Tarot cards. You were pactless until not long ago, no? In which case, I assume your family were not practitioners of divination, cartomancy, or otherwise. Um, no? Well, I don't know, maybe. My mother and grandmother always believed in the validity of tarot cards. The rest of us, however, in any case, um, the story of my name is actually a pretty strange one. Then I shall, then I shan't press. We have got on a sidetrack besides. A dream catcher, you um, then, then understand, in layman's understanding, is to filter and catch negative dreams. My echo catch, I hope, will serve a similar fu uh, function. The medallion spins in the presence of ambient eldritch power. And in the presence of great concentrations of eldritch energy, it will catch a silver, a sliver uh, of whatever remains. The eldritch powers, you see, lay scars upon our world. Scars which can function as windows into the very circumstances of their creation, for those who are willing to look, at least. That is interesting. You are saying it is a window to the past? That is a rudimentary analysis. Analysis? But yes, I hope it can serve that function, among others. And does it work? I am uncertain. It should and does in fact spin in the presence of magic. The faster it spins, the more potent the eldritch energies around it should be. I glance at the medallion still held in her left hand. It spins calmly, serenely. The metal exudes a faint room with rotation. So, is it spinning now because you are holding it? An astute question. You don't have to say that you... that like you are surprised? Yes and no. Gloam Road is suffused and in some cases has been constructed with eldritch, uh, eldritch energies. In large part, this is because of the roots of the vacuous tree working through the university. In addition, the grounds contain a large number of magical constructs and mechanisms. And that is entirely separate from the many denizens of the university, most of which possess some degree of proficiency in the eldritch arts. So basically, that thing is a metal detector trapped in a metal box. She nods curtly. No offense, three, but that sounds a bit useless given our location. If its purpose was to detect the eldritch. If its purpose was to detect the Eldritch, yes, but that's not its purpose. You will recall um, it is to serve as a catch for that which has caused scars in our world. Scars? 
which I hope to transcend time. We this is the name for this medallion is to catch echoes, Tarot. Echoes of what has gone. The Pact Sworn who originally created the seal which blocked the Forbidden Wing was one of great renown. I believed given the power of the seal's magic there may have been a chance at catching something, even a snippet of the past. However, it seems the eldritch energy held in this chamber is indeed gone. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. As was I. Try to help her with the experiment. Look, Tree, I know I'm out of the realm of... Uh, it's out... I'm out of the... I'm out of my realm of expertise here, but aren't uh, there any other things around Glomrod you could test this on? If we look together, I bet we could find a few more options. You offer your aid so freely? It is appreciated, but the answer to your question is no. To trigger the desired effect, I would need a search of Eldritch energies capable of rivaling a Pact Master's touch. There is in fact very few artifacts or places of sufficient inoculation within the Eldritch powers. You even here. I see. I did say I was out of my depth. Indeed, I shan't fault, I shan't fault you. How grace, gracious of you. The small rhythmic hum of the device is almost soothing in a way. I find myself wondering how the magic feels to touch. Do you mind if I try? Whatever for? If I say it, you just make fun of me again. She hesitates for the briefest of moments before. Here, kitty kitty. She holds the medallion out over to me, a bit like someone teasing their cat with a bow of yarn. I reciprocate um, as one does by pawing at it. A twinkle of pain ravages my hand. The medallion spins like a top, faster and faster until it is a whir of silver and trace blue. Its pulse, previously a mechanical and steady drum, becomes agonizing screech to bleed the ears. That's not possible. I am thrust into a void of darkness and fog. My footsteps echo, yet when I look beneath me, there doesn't seem to be a surface to walk on at all. The air is frigid, a cold so bitter it stings the skin. Three. My voice does not echo. It is consumed, consumed ravenously by a vast emptiness. And I know that uh, wherever I am, uh, I am, I'm desperately alone. I walk aimlessly for a time, wading through a damp, endless mist. The fog shifts. It swirls into the shape of a small hospital bed. The faint, deep, uh, the faint beep of a heart monitor grazes the void. Atop the bed lies a small girl, pale and spindly. She coughs slightly as I approach, opening her eyes at my as my footsteps announce my presence. Is someone there? My heart races quickly. A twinge of fear strikes up my spine, but then I am hit by guilt. Whatever this place is, she is just a little girl. Yes, I'm, I'm here, though I'm just a guy stumbling through the dark. The girl turns her head in my direction, resting her right cheek on her pillow. Her eyes are clouded over, the, over and grey, her cheeks are pallid and slick with sweat. She coughs again. It is hoarse and dry and riddles her face with agony. 
Would you sit here with me? There's a slight crack in her voice, like a torrent of tears held back by a bowing dam. Sure, I can sit. As I speak, the folk twists again. A small chair settles at her bedside. I take my seat cautiously. Up close, she is very thin, her wrists hardly more than bone. She moves a hand to brush some hair um, slick into her face. You wouldn't happen to know where, are, uh, where we are? The girl tilts her head curiously. We are in the hospital. I glance about the unending black. Of course. Are you a nurse? No, I'm actually a little lost, I think. Oh. She frowns a hair. I'm sorry, I can't see very well anymore. If you find one of the nurses, they can probably help you find whatever room you're looking for. Hmm, not a bad idea. The fox swirls around uh, the the fox swirls slowly around us, trapping us in a foundation of cold and gray. Cold gray. I think I'll hang out uh, with you for a bit, though, if it's okay. She nods absently. Have you heard anyone else uh, in your room recently? You mean besides the nurses? A bit more color drains from her face. My parents used to come to vi uh, used to come and visit a lot, but they don't don't come by as often anymore. Oh, I'm I'm very sorry. I'm sure they are just busy. The girl shakes her head. My sister told me they are always yelling at each other at home these days. They haven't told me, but I know dad is selling the house. They can't afford it any longer. I think they'll probably split up soon. I'm reminded of long nights of screaming. My father and mother going at it for hours and hours each night after married passed. passed. Those were the good days. After that, my mother hardly spoke again at all. That's rough. Money always puts strain on people though. I'll try not to think too much about it. The girl nods. It's my fault. My sister told me my treatments are very expensive. A surge of anger fills my chest. It's not your fault. You're sick. It's just not. And it never will be. Your parents are supposed to take care of you. That's their job. Never apologize for needing them to do so. Understand me? Her expression blanks as she, as she tilts her head closer to me and I can tell she's trying to see me uh, with whatever scrapings of vision remain. Her cheek stirs into a frown, there's a trace of glistening in her eyes, but the girl nods. Say it. I won't apologize. Good. Her breathing is rugged and even lying down, her body trembles. She is very sick and I get the sense whatever vestiges of life burn within her have almost petered out. A little hand reaches out from, the, from beneath her bed sheet. It is a very frail and very small thing. Will you hold my hand? I brandish a small smile though. I doubt she can see it. Sure, I would be happy to. I lay my hand upon her own. She laces her fingers around mine slowly. Her grip is weak. Um, and her touch is deadly cold. Oh, you are very, very warm. I get that a lot. She smiles weakly. But a pair of tears make their way down her cheeks, and as they reach reach her sleep, uh, her lips, they begin to rise as more mist. 
all around her steam um, seems to rise from her flesh where it does her skin dissipates leaving not but the black void around us um, in its space it spreads fast as the girl becomes a doll of many cracks and she breathes I think I'm supposed to go now w wait it's better if I do for everyone fuck everyone hold on I can't but in my chest there's a fire a fire I have felt so many times now yet can never recall it bursts from me like the eruptive surface of a star and I watch as an infinitely um, in infinity of pale flame lights the girl's eyes so bright don't let go don't ever let go not if you're not finished here not if there's even a, sli uh, a sliver of something um, anchoring you to stay but cracks still riddle and spread across her flesh, jutting violent clouds of steam. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready to go. Then stay. All you have to do is ask, and you can stay. She nods absently as the inferno around me pour into her, filling her empty cracks with rivers of fire. And in the darkness I hear her scream. And then, I wake. The air is cool but comfortable, and I realize I'm swaddled in familiar sheets. Ah, it seems you're awake. Good. What the... I'm in my room? Your eyes seem to be working. That is most assuring. How are you feeling? I sit up in my bed, my head feels heavy as a stone. Like I could sleep for another 20 years, but otherwise I think I'm okay. Um, hmm. It appears you ran a foe of an Eldritch experiment gone wrong. You are found passed out on the floor beside Trisella near the entrance of the Forbidden Wing. Yeah? She was slowing me, uh, showing me some device of hers, and then, and then that strange dream. If it even was a dream. Mm -hmm. And what pray tell you? Uh, were you both doing in that area of the school? Think on your feet. Think on your feet. Think on you. Three needed some strong eldritch energies to test out her device, and I decided to help her. She thought the old seal might prove enough, but the professor stares at me for a moment, but eventually relinquishes a sigh. She told me the very same. In any case, I'll need you to take it easy for a few hours. The after effects of this device seem to have sapped a lot of energy from both of you. Otherwise, I haven't detected any issues, but do let me know if you feel off. I nod absently. Ikram starts to leave when I say, Is Tri okay? Uh, is Tri okay? Hmm. Ah, yes, she woke an hour before you. She's also resting. I'll leave her be for now. He exits my room uh, without another word. Well, at least uh, he showed a minute amount of cons I'm, I'm minute amount of concern this time around. Left to my devices, I find myself thinking of that fog laden void. The there's no way. Um, it was just a dream. It was f far too real. And now that I'm awake and cognizant, the girl in, in that bed, she looked so much like Tree. Her device uh, uh, was supposed to glimpse into the past. What if it worked? 
and if she was knocked out as well, does that mean? But my hand, uh, my, my head begins to ache, and I'm forced to lay down in shivers. I need to find her and ask her about this again. But first, I pull my head under the blankets. A bit of rest won't hurt. Ooh. Имам карти, които да взема. Много интересно. Сакроманси. Преизтегляне на карти. Я им сега. Много интересно. Отново ще посетя естествено магазина, може и да взема някакви нови неща, ако има. Но не съм сигурен дали това, че няма часовничето, значи, че няма нови неща. Може би няма нови неща. Оп, зап, при страйк кю, тейк, уан демидж. Ха. Често казвам, това е страхотно. Фол, фол. Другото е, че мога да събера малко сакроманси, но не съм сигурен дали има нужда от това. Инстант качана, 1 energy takes 7 damage. Йоооо, това е супер, това е супер, е такива неща ме кефят. Sacrament of Ekimu Ritual. Legendary finality completes, gain Sacrament of Ekimu. All sorcery spells gain vampirism. Това е доста яко интересно, всъщност по-скоро. Не знам дали е много яко, но е интересно. Ам... Дей Худи Валър, между другото, е интересна магия. До края на играта се буства и буства и буства. Хм... Трябва да имам 3, за да има смисъл. Draw one spell, lose one reserve. Е адекватно, но не мога да кажа, че кой знае колко яко. Сакроманси, също интересна карта имам там. Гейн 3 фокус, опонент гейн 3 фокус. Нека да запазя за сега точките. Мисля си аз. Бекинг Лоумрот, 